All right, so I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but let's take a look at some of the top templates that are going around the world today for Webflow. First up here is gonna be constant.webflow.io. I'm gonna leave the links to all of these templates in the description so you can check them out if you want. So if I go ahead and reload this page here, you'll see that it's a template for an app, for a mobile app. And you'll see that it has a priority on these small but mighty animations. And I think that this is the kind of template that you could use as a single page to sell something that is like an app or just like a service. It doesn't necessarily need to be digital. It can be like a lawn mowing service or something like that. Just something that is very simple that you can sell in a single page. Down here, we have the key benefits of using the app. We can send, transfer, manage. And if we click on the different links, it'll change the image. And so this template has some of these interactions and animations already included, which is fantastic. We have simple carousel. Cells. But the point is that even though it's a simple layout, we have these animations that help elevate that style. I'm just going to reload this page again so we can see that pop up. And you can see that if we preview this in the designer, we can actually take a look at all the different animations that are available to us when we purchase this. Now, it is important to know that these templates are all paid, but I do feel like with these templates, when you pay, you get a lot out of it. So it's kind of worth it sometimes depending on your business. But here we can see what these animations look like. And if we go ahead into the layer panel, we can see which wrappers are being animated. So interaction here, scroll into view reveals number one, and we can see all of the different interactions that are happening here. So we have the start and then the finish. On play, we see that we get this kind of interaction here where let's go ahead and just focus on this one. So meeting notification, we see that the scale is gonna go from zero to zero all the way to one. So yeah, pretty simple interactions. But again, when you layer all of them and you put them all together, they look very, very good, just as we see here. So I think that's enough for this one. Let's move on to the next template here, which is gonna be an e-commerce template. Now this template was done by someone in my agency, so I wanna highlight it, but it's also a very good template. So here, this is kind of a minimal template that can be used for just about anything really. But in this case, we have an image in the forefront for the product. And then in the background, when you hover over it, it kind of shows the environment in which this product would be used. So this can also be used to kind of sell the vibe of the product that you want to sell. So for example, if we want to have a gym product, then maybe on hover, we can have the gym in the background or the kind of aesthetic of dumbbells or something like that in the background to help sell that product. Now, once we click into it, we'll see that there's a couple different formats here from a hardback to soft cover. We have a little bit about the brand, it changes the image, some tabs, and then we have some recommended products that are within that same category, which is fantastic. When we go back, we get that page transition, which is fantastic. And here we can go ahead and filter by different categories like shop for homeware. And again, on hover, we get that transition that allows us to see the environment that it should be in. So for example, these socks here, we can see that they are meant for a cozy and comfy time at home. This book allows us to see that it's for writing on a table, for example. When you click on the shop nav bar here, we get all the different categories. And so this is great because you can see everything that's available or just what's in stock. And if I go ahead and click all, you'll see that there should be some stuff that is, maybe let's go to all, shop all, okay. And here we see that we have some stuff that is out of stock. Go ahead and select only in stock and that promptly disappears, which is fantastic. And that is one thing to say that this is all made in the CMS, which is fantastic. Next up here is gonna be this personal portfolio site, donovan-template.io. And again, these links are gonna be in the description, but on page load, we see that we get this very nice animation with everything kind of coming up. We get the name of the person, the year it's in. I'm sure you could add some custom JavaScript so that this is always running correctly. And right off the bat, we get something that I like, which is just these big images that showcase the work. We have a very quick about me, the resume, if you wanted to have it, the goals, previous work experience, and then back into the work. So usually with portfolio sites, I always say that the work has to be the main thing that you're showcasing. It has to be big images, 
just like this that showcase what you're actually doing, right? We need to actually be able to see the work that you're creating. If not, these portfolio sites don't really make sense. Down here we have, where was it? We had the actual steps that this person took in this project. So for example, brand audit, market strategy, digital, blah, blah, blah. And the number in which this correlates to. So that's great, very simple. But again, we add, if we just took a look at this, we could probably do it in a Word document with how simple it is, right? It's just the name of the project, an image, the process more images and then related content. We could probably do this in a Word document, but the fact that we add these small animations, these small interactions, make it feel like it's so much more. And that's all you really need to do with these portfolio pieces. But the most important thing is to always be able to showcase the work because without the work, you kind of get lost with, with all the animations. So make sure that you're prioritizing work first with big images and then animations come second. But you do need both of them, in my opinion, to have a great looking portfolio site. But there's also a trend where you kind of have this super, super, super minimal portfolio site with no animations. It's just almost like a grid and then boom, 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 projects done. If you don't like it, you can leave. I also like that, that's cool. But anyways, this portfolio site, very nice. Let's go ahead and explore the next one. So the next one is ovo-phase.wethel.io. And this is a template for a SaaS company that wants to showcase its product online. Now we can see here that we have a lot of animations and this follows the same trend where it's pretty simple layouts. I mean, we've got image on the left, text on the right, but when the page loads to that section, we get that nice animation and we can actually see how they did this if we go into the Webflow designer. But first, let's take a look at the rest of the site here. So we got this very simple testimonial page here. We have a simple pricing plan for professional and then the ultimate, and then a very nice, what are you waiting for? So this kind of design reminds me of the linear.design page. The linear.design page, I will say, does feel miles above this one, but it's a great starting point if you just want to have that kind of same style. Now, inside of features, you'll see what I mean here with that linear vibe. We get some very similar modular, but very Apple feeling kind of design here. All the sections have that on scroll appear. We get the sticky section. So a lot of animation is included here, which is great. Kind of does the heavy lifting for us. And all we really need to worry about is gonna be the layout and the content. Some nice testimonial here. Great. And just some very simple animations, but it adds a lot to the site. And just really quickly here, I wanna show you the linear site that I was talking about. So you can see that the SaaS vibe is also there with the previous template. But again, this is gonna be levels above, but we do have these sections that allow us to see a little bit more about the product without kind of overwhelming the user, if that makes sense. We have the similar carousel here, which can be used either for testimonial or for features, anything really. And then down here, we have this CTA to either get started or talk to sales. So again, just a, a quick overview of the site that I was thinking about, but anyways, back on to the main video. And lastly, I wanna showcase one of the most expensive templates on the site, but for good reason, because this allows us to have a very premium feeling to the site. And we can see here with the examples that they're giving us, just the kind of vibe that, that the site is going for. So you can see that it's, it feels very minimal, but it's got these animations. Let's see some, okay, let's actually click into these homes instead of just looking at them. Nice, so you can see that, okay, in my opinion, I would change this this blue to be something maybe a bit darker because it feels a bit a bit like, a, like an insurance company with this blue, that's all good. So let's go ahead and change it to yearly. You can see that on hover, these cards come out, which is fantastic. On hover, this get started appears. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, so there's a lot to do. Wow, look at that. There's a lot that you can do with these templates, as you can see. And then just to finish it off, when you scroll past, we have the FAQ below this section that is kind of appearing when you hover over it. Great, let's go into another home just to see. Okay, so we have a completely different layout here. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this indentation, but I can see the style that they were going for. So again, we have a carousel that allows us to build just about anything. In this case, it's gonna be testimonials. Okay, so a nice change on click. I feel like that could be eased into a little bit. But again, we have this button here that is constant on all the, on all the buttons. 
which is that nice animation on hover. And then to finish it off, we have these cards that are stacking on top of each other. I actually did a tutorial on how you can do this. If you guys want to go ahead and see that tutorial, I'm going to leave it up here or up there. But anyways, this is a great template. It's a little bit pricier than the other examples I've shown, but I think that you do get a lot of bang for your buck on this one. So anyways, that has been five or six templates that I find to be quite nice. If you guys like this video, then do let me know down below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about any of the templates that I shared. And again, they're all going to be in the description if you guys want to check them out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.